What do you see? The mercy of God and of the order. Thanks be to God. Well, this is a perfect day for your profession. We rejoice with you. We are thrilled for our community and for our order as you celebrate this special moment in our monastic life together as a community. We are thrilled to welcome you as a professed member of our Mepkin community. The Assumption of Mary celebrates the impact of the life and death and resurrection of Christ on all believers. Mary is the first disciple who always followed the will of God and said yes to what God asked of her. As we have all come to know and believe, following Christ as his disciples, we too must do whatever the Father asks of us. We too must die to our own will and surrender to all that is, the deep love and willingness to always be for others. Mary is our model and our patroness, as well because of her great love of God and her total yes to the Father. So you, Brother Juan, have been called to the vowed life of a Cistercian in our Trappist tradition. And you too have said yes to God's call. You said yes when you became a novice. You said yes when you asked for simple profession. And today, you say yes to live faithfully this wonderful contemplative life as a solemn professed Cistercian monk. We all know that the yes is not an easy answer. Your life has been a preparation for this surrender. Indeed, that's what it is. Years of caring for your parents and their illness. The challenges that come with years of teaching and the desire to be a deacon and a priest, and these dreams never being fulfilled. Life can be a struggle, and through it all, your faith and devotion kept you going, and ultimately was the foundation for your call to monastic life. This life of ours, this monastic life, calls each of us to empty ourselves through the vows of conversion of life, of obedience and stability. And these, brother, will, will, you will vow today to God and to the order for life forever. This is another yes you say to God today. A deep yes to our loving Father. You honor Mary and you honor Christ, who you seek to embody as a monk. The challenge of this yes has been great, the letting go of a life at Park Ridge, Illinois, that you loved, that had a rhythm of caring, of devotion, of adoration of the Blessed Sacrament, that sustained you through your parish life and the other places that you gave of your time. You also have generously given away your retirement funds with an abandonment that is extraordinary. That is a marvelous sign of your willingness to enter into the surrender God is inviting you to live now. You are indeed coming into a new life, a solemn vow of life. We see in this the true letting go of the past, but the acceptance now of a future to live for God alone and with God in our community life. All of your experiences to this moment have prepared you for today and for the journey God has in store for you, which we pray is a deeper life of intimacy within the mystical vocation that is our Cistercian life. God's ardent desire for you is this new life, this deep union with God in Christ. Our monastic life cannot guarantee that mystical reality because it's up to you to respond to the invitation you receive from God. 
But the promises you make today will give you the grace to say yes over and over to whatever God invites you to. That's our monastic life. Following the rule of St. Benedict provides you the sacred framework for this gift. The vows invite this yes to conversion, to obedience, and to the freedom to have the space to live it out here at Mecca Avenue. God wants to be one with each of us, and we can't begin to imagine what that gift is like. But we are invited to find out by our commitment to prayer and contemplation. After all, we are created in the image and likeness of God. So we want to enter into that mystery, to be one with it, and to reach in some way the very intention God had when we were created. I want to quote from Thomas Merton, who says what I am seeking to share with you, perhaps more eloquently. Here's what he wrote. One of the first essentials of the interior solitude that I speak of is the actualization of a faith in which a man takes responsibility for his own inner life. He faces its full mystery in the presence of the invisible God, and he takes upon himself the lonely, barely comprehensible, incommunicable task of working his way through the darkness of his own mystery until he discovers that his and the mystery of God merge into one reality, which is the only reality, that God lives in him and he in God. This is the mystery, and this is the call to it, that enthralls each of us to say yes, I invites you to say yes today to this way of life, the deepest level possible. It is there in the dynamic of mystery and invitation that you, Brother Juan, are responding so wholeheartedly this morning. We know that God will respond to your yes as you pray to the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit to come into your heart, purify you, strengthen you in your self-giving, and ratify your consecration and profession with love and a blessing. May God continue to bless you, my brother, as you embark on deepening even more this journey with God together with our Mecca community.
Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us. Saint Michael, pray for us. Holy Angels of God, pray for us. Saint John the Baptist, pray for us. Saint Joseph. Our 
Father in heaven, be God eternal. You are holy indeed, the fountain of all holiness. You have chosen us in Jesus Christ before the creation of the world to be holy in your presence, to be full of love, to be your adopted children and your own begotten, beloved Son.
For our God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, you have created us to be the praise of your glory. We believe that what you give us always exceeds the furthest limits of our desires. With one heart and voice, we adore you and give you thanks for all of your marvelous deeds. Let us bless the Lord. May the Lord strip you of the old self and its way of life. And um, May the Lord clothe you in the new self, which grows in wisdom, as you are formed anew into the image of God. Amen. Um,
servant, Brother Juan, to share the gospel mystery of your son. Now again, you call him into the desert to share more intimately the exodus of your son from this world to you. Through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of the Church, grant him a double portion of your spirit, so that the promise made here in the midst of the Church and all the saints may be confirmed by his ever faithful love and dedication. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.